everyone, Paul here from Castify. Glad you could join me today. Today we're going to talk just a little bit about safety, and I wanted to share a few little tips that really could help uh, if you ever get into a bad situation. So the first thing is, I know for me, um, I do a lot of wading and um, exploring these, you know, creeks and streams all over Arkansas and Missouri. And in most cases, I find myself alone, very alone, with no one around, haven't seen a single person all day in many cases. Um, so you have to ask yourself this question, what if? So what if I fell? What if I broke a leg? What if whatever? Um, bottom line is there's a lot of scenarios that could come into play there where you might need medical attention and how do you tell somebody? How do you get it? how do you get the message out that you need help? There's a there's a few things that could get in the way of you getting help. And number one is you may not have cell phone service. Um, that would be that would be really bad. You couldn't contact anyone. Maybe your phone gets destroyed after you fell. Uh, maybe it gets waterlogged. Um, so what do you do? Let's say you can't walk back to your vehicle. You need someone to come get you. What are you going to do? <clears throat> and that's why I wanted to bring that scenario into play because it could happen to any of us. And you never know. Um, so let's think about this for a minute. What could you do to protect yourself in that type of situation? So let's say you did everything that you could to be safe that day, but something happened and you needed you needed help well if you before you left home the number one rule should be uh, letting your loved one know or a good friend know exactly where you're going what time you're leaving when you plan to be back and when you will text them or call them um, when you're on the road home and if you don't do that if you don't if you don't make that time then they need to start making some phone calls and figuring out or driving out to where you were at least to figure out where you are or alerting some emergency services to help find you. I mean, that's that's key. So that right there is going to help big time because you know that your friend is going to do something and take an action. If you don't show up at 5 o'clock, if you don't make a phone call at 5 o'clock, your friend is going to take action, guaranteed. So it's got to be... A dependable good family friend or <laughs> your your spouse or someone that's really that really cares for you that can you can depend on someone that's going to look out for you so a second option that you could have is basically on your cell phone record a voicemail message of your of your agenda for the day the date the time where you're going to be located where your drop point is maybe it's near a public access point <clears throat> Letting anyone know that calls you exactly where you are. So if they've called you multiple times and you haven't picked up the phone or responded, then basically they need to uh, notify emergency services to come get you know get some help out here and try to find you. At least they know where your drop point is and where the emergency responders can really start looking for you. That's key because a lot of times if you just say I'm going fishing, okay, that could be anywhere. That could be seriously anywhere. And if your phone breaks or gets waterlogged or anything like that, your your voicemail message is still going to be on record, recorded, so anybody can hear it that calls in. So that's kind of that's kind of key, and that's a good tip for anyone that's plans on an outdoor adventure and and you know you want to come home safe and you need a backup plan if something happens. Um, what to do, take an action, and put something like this together with a close friend or your spouse so that uh, they know how to get help for you if something does happen. So the last thing I wanted to talk about, which uh, to me is a really big deal, um, it can actually help you save your life or maybe someone else, and that's simply putting a small little go bag together in your vehicle. It can be a first aid kit, maybe a blanket, some extra clothes, um, some water, maybe a few snacks, uh, some way to start a fire, and basically some kind of portable 
battery pack of some sort to charge your phone in case your car dies. Having something like this in your vehicle, just in case you find yourself in need or someone else is in need, um, can really help save the day. And I, I think that's all those items are pretty available to everyone and easy, easy to throw together in a bag. And so I encourage you to do that. Uh, just be prepared for anything that might happen when you're in the great outdoors. Uh, because seriously, you never know what's going to happen. Thank you for joining me on my video today. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening in. And I hope you take these tips and uh, put them to work. So I'll catch you next time. Thanks.